Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Forge and Simucraft. Now I've made this video previously, I'll be removing, uh, the, I think I've made a couple of videos where I show you how to do it, but they're kind of outdated now. Um, so this is uh, using the new Minecraft launcher, uh, 162 onwards. Um, it was fairly easy before to install Forge and, and Simucraft. Uh, but now it's even easier but I just wanted to show you how to do it and I'll remove the older videos uh, as well and I'll remove this one should it change again in the future it might do you never know uh, so first of all um, you want to download Forge and Simicraft itself uh, this is the official website that I maintain myself the, the uh, URL changed recently so make sure you're on this 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 new URL just here and just scroll down, uh, there's a bit of information about Simicraft if you're new to it just tells you what it's all about there's a nice slideshow showing you some pictures about uh, what I've added and what you, what you can expect from the mod and scroll down and you get the actual download links so the ones you want is this one will download the Forge installer uh, previously it downloaded the Forge Universal and then do lots of messy stuff to install it but now it's even easier with the installer so just download the that link there and save it to your desktop and then you'll want the latest version of Simicraft or a version that works with uh, your particular version of Minecraft like I say it's, it's changed since 162 so this is how you do it from from now on so download that one as well the latest version uh, I've already downloaded them you can see them on, on my desktop there so we'll just uh, minimise that. So you can see there we've got um, the Minecraft Forge installer. If your icon looks a bit different, that's all right. You, you've probably got WinRAR, or WinZip, or non neither of them. So uh, it might, the icon look might, might look different. Um, this is Simucraft. As you can see, it says Unzip Me Simucraft, and then the version number. So I'll explain that a bit later on. So the first thing you need to do then is install Forge, which is really, really easy with the installer. Um, so if you right click on it, uh, you can double click in some cases, but um, right clicking it will work for everyone I think. Uh, so you right click, go to open with, and you want to choose this one. You might have WinZip instead of WinRAR, but this is the one you want. This will tell it to open up with the, the Java platform. Just run it as a Java program, because uh, it's a Java program just like Minecraft is. So if you choose that one, give it a few seconds and you'll get this pop up. Now you don't need to change any of these settings, they'll all be 99% of the time they'll be perfect and you don't need to do anything. All you do is click on OK. But before I do that, I just want to do show you a quick tip. Uh, this will save you time a little bit later on. If you highlight that just by left clicking and dragging, that's the, the folder where your Minecraft is stored. Now yours will be different, obviously it won't Scott. Um, it might be in the app data if you've... Uh, I've done a clean install so mine's changed to this one now. But anyway, if, if you highlight that and then press Ctrl and C on the keyboard that will copy that text into the uh, the clipboard because um, you're going to use it a bit later on. But like I say, just click OK on that and successfully installed Forge and the number. And that's it. That's Forge installed. There's no more of the uh, unzipping the uh, Minecraft jar file and deleting meta inf and then copying things across. It's it's all done with that installer now, so it's very easy. So now when you start up the Minecraft launcher, you'll have this new profile. You might have to switch it over, or it might be there already. I've got another one that I've installed earlier. It doesn't really matter if you've, you've installed it multiple times. You can you can delete it later just by using the new uh, profile editor. But yeah, select the the Forge one that you've uh, just installed and just click play. So if you go ahead and launch Minecraft now you'll then see that you've got a mods button and some extra information so you know that Forge is installed correctly. So now to install Simicraft. So if you open up uh, Windows Explorer and go to this top bit here and press Ctrl and V and what that will do is paste in the, the path that you uh, copied earlier so it just saves you time trying to find it really then just press enter and it will go to the, the Minecraft folder like I say yours might be in a slightly different place but uh, as long as you see this sort of thing uh, you've got mods, 
config, save, screenshots. As long as you've got that folder there, you're in the right place. So if you get, then go into mods, as you can see I've got lots of mods already installed, uh, but yours will probably be empty if, if it's a fresh copy of Minecraft. So then you go to the unzip me simucraft file and then just double click it. Now whether you've got um, WinRAR or WinZip or just, just plain old Windows Explorer, uh, anyone will open it and it will look more or less like this. Uh, you see another window open, you've got a folder and the file and some instructions. Normally when you download a mod you just uh, get the zip file and then throw that into the mods but Simicraft just works a bit different because it's got this uh, this extra folder here that contains all the buildings. So all you need is the, the folder itself and then control click on the zip. Like I say that works on Win, WinRAR, WinZip and Explorer and then just drag them across to here and drop them in. I won't do that because I've already got it. So it should look like this. You've got the Simicraft folder and somewhere down there there's the Simicraft zip file and it doesn't say unzip me at the beginning so you know you've got the right one. Like I say all your other mods go in here as well. So that's all there is to it. Just go back into Minecraft and click on play. Just as a, an extra bit of information if you go back to your Minecraft folder like I say you should be able to paste it back in there. Uh, or you can save it as a favourite like I've got here just so I can get into it very quickly. Uh, go into the config folder this time instead of the mods. This is just an extra but you don't need to do this, it's just uh, if you want to. These are like config files that come with every mod uh, or every forge mod anyway and you can go in here and just mess around with them. Normally it's meant for people who make mod packs they can mess around with the the IDs and things like that, but uh, you can do extra things that you might not know about. So if you go to Satscape Simucraft config and just double click on that. So mine's open up in uh, WordPad, a notepad will work as well, or any, any kind of text editor. So like I say, this bit's here, this is for the, the mod IDs. You probably don't ever need to change these. I've, I've not known a mod that clashes with it yet, so uh, probably leave those alone. Uh, this this is the bit that you can mess around with. It, it alters various things about how the mod works. Um, so you can disable the beaming effect. Uh, you can turn off those alignment beams on the markers. All you do is just change the actual bit after the equal sign. Uh, in this case it's like a true false value so you just put true or false. Simple as that and same with that. Uh, there's a couple of new th things here. You can turn off the uh, the blog language false uh, and just turn the English one on instead, so true. Uh, by default both are, both are true. So if you prefer the, the blog noises uh, or the English ones or both, you can turn them on, on, on and off here just by changing those values. If you've got another mod that uses uh, like text on the screen, you can offset the, uh, the position of the uh, where, where you see the population and how much cash you've got. Um, it's in pixels, so naught is the top of the screen and sort of like whatever half of your resolution is. It depends, you just have to play around with that value. If you, but most of the time you don't, you don't need to move it around, it's up to you. A couple of other things, um, there's like uh, when a builder runs out of materials, it, he'll remind you every three minutes, but if you find that a bit too much, you can change the value here. Like, like this one isn't a true false value it's the amount of minutes, so you do three minutes, five minutes, or you can set it to zero and it'll only remind you once and then you won't hear from them again. Uh, I prefer three minutes myself but uh, it's all down to personal preference. Another value that's very useful, a lot of people say is there a limit on the amount of population. Uh, there was 100, uh, I think I set it to 200 as the, as the default now, but I've just changed mine to 1000 so there's, there's, you can have that many Simu folks uh, in one world. Uh, bear in mind the more you have the, the more laggy it might get. It just depends on the speed of your computer so try try bigger values and see how it works out. So I'll be adding more um, things to the config file so just uh, uh, check in here if you, if you want to slightly modify the game and how it works. But that's it, that's the, the config folder so it's, it's quite useful to uh, playing around with uh, set different settings in the, the different mods. So like I say I'll, I'll delete this video if they change how it works again 
and make a new updated uh, version uh, but for now this is like uh, July, end of July 2013 for Minecraft 162 this is how it's, it's currently how, how you currently install Forge and Simicraft. Thanks for watching, bye!